Good morning, friends. It is Friday, and we are about to take the girls on a walk. Um, Jonathan doesn't work till one. We slept in a little bit because we were up late last night doing nothing. We literally did nothing except, well, we watched um, Family Affair on Netflix with Zac Efron and Joey King. Um, and slept in a little bit, made breakfast, and now we're gonna take the girls on a walk. Um, and then I'll get started on work for the day. Um, let's see, what do I have to update you on <laughs> since last night? Nothing. <coughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill Friday. I don't have any plans besides finishing up work. Might actually go out and just bop around later this afternoon just to get me out of the house. I feel like I've been like cooped up and most if not all my friends are out of town. So I'm like, oh, I could hang out with someone but they're all out of town this weekend. So um, I'm gonna take the girls on a walk and do my skincare, have some SPF on. You guys, I used to wear my hair in a French braid like this all the time. Haven't done it in so long. Um, it brought me straight back to high school. I feel like I French braided my hair all the time in high school. Um, <clears throat> however, I've never been able to master French tail or French braid pigtails. For some reason, I, I, they just always look weird. Um, but the single French braid is just so nice and keeping the hair out of the face. Well, I mean, we got a couple wispies, but anyway, I'm gonna put my shoes on and we're gonna harness up the girls and take them for a little walk. <laughs> driving through the car car wash car through <laughs> I am just about to go through the car wash and then we're gonna go bop around town get me out of the house not exactly sure where I think I'm gonna go to home goods and Marshalls maybe Hobby Lobby and then I might stop at the mall I don't know we'll see how I feel um I wouldn't mind going to Old Navy getting some sleepers not that I need to buy any more baby clothes right now but we'll see so gonna get the car cleaned and I'll see what we find okay car is clean and wiped down oh I should have wiped down the Dutch board again with that I'm gonna do that really quick with the damn towel I disinfected in here earlier this week when I vacuumed out my car, but you know, just gotta make sure. Okay. All right, let's go to Marshall's and Home Goods. I was in there for so long. Holy crap, it's almost three o'clock now. It was really busy. I forget, it's like basically a holiday today um, or like an extended weekend, so it makes sense why it was busy. Um, tried on a bunch of stuff because um, I wanted to get a swimsuit that would fit because I'm scared that all of my swimsuits are not going to fit me anymore. And we are planning to go to a water park when we're in Texas and then like there's like a pool there and stuff. So I just wanted like one swimsuit that would work. I almost bought two, but then I was like on the fence about a one piece because I'm like, 
I felt like the one piece made me look like heavier than I am. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, your girl has gained some weight in this pregnancy, but it's, I was just like, I don't want to get it. It was like, it was like $40. So it wasn't like super cheap either. So I was like, I don't want to get it unless I'm like hundred percent about it. And I got a bikini that I thought was super cute. And I just, for some reason, I feel better in bikinis. Um, even though they're like exposing more for some reason, I just feel like they're a little bit more flattering. Um, if you are new here, I have, I have, I'm five, five, so I'm like average height, but I have short legs, which when you're pregnant, it makes me look a lot heavier having short legs and like that's where I gain all my weight too is in my legs um and so I for some reason something about the one piece just was not was not doing it for me but I got a bikini that's super cute um and a couple dresses actually that I'm really excited about um and what else I got a candle and I got something for the nursery which that reminds me, I need to do a haul from my previous home goods haul. I did like a massive nursery home goods haul and I recorded it and it was on the memory card that got damaged when Sadie chewed up my last vlog camera. So um, maybe I'll do that this afternoon um, because I have some time and that way I can show you guys kind of like the vibes for the nursery. Also the rug that I ordered for the nursery should be coming in tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to at least give you a little sneak peek. I don't want to show like, I want to do like a designated nursery video, like putting everything together. Cause we're still like getting stuff in and like, I'm gonna have to like decorate. I mean, maybe not like completely finalized, but like once we get the bulk of everything in, so it may be a while, maybe not, might not be till the end of my pregnancy, but it's going to be kind of a work in progress because there's some bigger things we have to get in and then like I have to figure out decorating and yada yada. So anyway, but did some damage at home goods. I don't even really feel like going anywhere else and I have to pee. So honestly, I'm just going to go home and I'm a little bit hungry. I just had like, a, I had some like leftover pasta salad from yesterday uh, for lunch and that filled me up for a while, but now I'm like kind of hungry. So I just want to eat like a little snack at home and my feet hurt too so like I said isn't there for almost two hours so um I'm I kind of just feeling like going home um then we have the evening to ourselves it is a Friday night zero plans um so I will get, show you guys all the things I have for the nursery and we'll see what we get up to that might be the excitement for the night all right, I decided to get a little treat. Um, I was kind of driving by a Dairy Queen and I've been wanting to try, I hope they have it, this like cake batter dipped ice cream cone. Right? Yes, confetti cake dipped cone. So I think I'm gonna get one of those. Um, if they're out of it, I'll just get a uh, blizzard, but it sounds so good right now. Thanks for choosing the bill. I'll be with you in just one moment. Okay, thanks. Sorry about the wait. What can I get started for you? Hey, can I just get one of the uh, confetti cake dipped cones with strawberry ice cream, please? We don't have strawberry ice cream yet. Oh, do you just have chocolate vanilla? Yes. Okay, let's just do vanilla then, please. So vanilla dipped in confetti cake. Anything else? Yes, that'll be it. Three eighty-five. Please go forward. Thank you. I was really hoping they'd have strawberry ice cream, but they only have chocolate and vanilla. First world problems, but that's okay. Oh geez, there's quite the line. <sighs> All right, well, let's treat ourselves this afternoon, I guess. Happy Friday. Also, you guys, while I'm waiting in line here, of course, then we start moving forward. Um, I placed my first Timu order. Um, I got all bamboo baby pajamas. Um, it's not good. The order's not supposed to get here until for another like week or two, I don't think. But um, I'm super excited. I saw some videos on TikTok saying that they're like the same thing as what you spend like $30 on. They're all like around like $10 a piece. Um, so once that comes in, I'll show you guys. I'm really excited about it. Have high hopes. Also, could be screwing myself but I feel like they looked and seemed like they'll be pretty good um the sellers had good reviews and stuff like that so I'll keep you guys updated if you are also a new mom and expecting mom a mom 
we'll keep you updated, okay? <coughs> Wrong tube. Um, but like I said, that's not going to come in for a couple weeks yet. So, um, I'm trying to now only buy sleepers because especially having a baby going into like fall and winter, I mean, people say that babies live in sleepers anyway, but especially having a fall and winter baby, I feel like she, I'm, it's just going to be easiest to just throw her in zip up sleepers all the time. So I don't want to buy any more like cute outfits or anything. I'm sure I'll be gifted some stuff too, like for our showers and whatever. Um, but my goal is to only buy sleepers going forward. <laughs> I might eat my words too, but that is my goal. She's got plenty of clothes for quite some time. So, um, I'm, but I'm really excited to get this order in. So anyway, okay. I'm almost to the window and then we'll do a taste test. Perfect. Thank you. Yep, you too. There she is. Okay, there's no way I can eat this and drive, so I'm just gonna park right over here. And oh, oh shit, somebody's in the sparkest spot next to me, but we're gonna park right here so they can't see me talking to myself. All right. melting because it's warm out it's like 82 it's pretty good it does have a little bit like a waxy flavor <laughs> which I'm sure it's the nature of the shell but it's really good um it's not like sickeningly sweet like sometimes cake batter stuff is so sweet and I don't usually like it but this is a nice compliment it's very good highly recommend mm, I like that a lot Okay, I'm gonna eat my cone and then we'll go home and do a little home goods haul. Okay, so I am sitting in the nursery surrounded by all the home goods things that I have purchased over the last like two months or so, month and a half, like, like ish. Um, let's start with the stuff that I got today and then we'll go to the stuff that I bought a little ways back. I think I mentioned this that I had already recorded this like on the day that I did the haul, the previous haul. It was on the memory card that got damaged when Sadie chewed my vlog camera. So we'll do it again. But start with the things I got today. So I got a couple clothing items, which I did get clips in the two dresses. So I'll insert those as I talk about them. But first up is this super cute strapless maxi dress. Um, I actually have been browsing Amazon for a strapless dress and just because when we go to Texas at the end of the month I figured it'll be a nice like cool option if I need something that's like dressier and these colors are just so pretty I love it super bright super summery and then I figured this will work also after I'm pregnant like when I'm not pregnant um, it's a size medium but the top is super stretchy so I figured this will work really well post-pregnancy hopefully I don't lose that much weight up here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, $24.99 for this. Super cute. Love that. I mentioned in the car that I was looking for a swimsuit. So I got this super cute, like golden yellow bikini. Um, as I mentioned, I almost got a one piece, like a hot pink fuchsia one piece. But I just feel like the bikini is a little bit more flattering. I feel more comfortable in bikinis for some reason, even though... <laughs> here's more exposed but anyway got this the top is a large and I think the bottoms are extra large um, that was also $24.99 and this last piece so excited about this you guys this is a Zara dress and first of all how fun is this color um, this was $14.99 this is the 
slinkiest, silkiest material. It is so comfortable um, and it looks so cute with the bump. It's um, kind of higher neck, but then like the back is a little bit strappy and it, I think it's more of like a midi dress, but super comfy. And I'm just so excited to have like a comfortable dress that looks super cute and it's like a, such a fun bright color. So really good option. Um, I'll probably end up wearing this for one of my weddings that I have this summer. Um, I might bring it to Texas, but we don't typically do stuff involving getting dressed up when we go there. It's like very casual. So we'll see if that gets worn. The other dress, the strapless one could be worn with like my Steve Madden sandals, like platform sandals and be like a casual like day to day outfit. I feel like if I wanted it to, um, so you know i could like or I, I guess i don't have great like sneakers that is one thing i need to get you guys i need to get some good casual sneakers that look good with dresses um i would love to get some like adidas gazelles but i don't know if they're like my style you know they'd be cute with like leggings and stuff but dresses and gazelle i don't know i don't know i gotta mess with it you know we'll work on that um, okay, that is it for clothing. Then <laughs> the boring purchase of the day. We needed a new shower curtain liner. Ours has some mildew on it started. So got a, I always get the heavyweight because the super lightweight ones just drive me nuts. And this is antimicrobial. So hopefully it won't get mildewy. Um, but we've had that other one for a long time. So yeah, not the end of the world. And I got one candle. This is the Sensational Storm Natural Coconut Wax Candle, um, or sorry, Natural Coconut Wax Blend. And this basically is a dupe for Capri Blue Volcano. Um, it's just a big guy, it was $14.99. And I have been really picky with scents throughout my pregnancy, um, especially lately. Anything with any hint of like sweetness I hate it. I don't like it. So I've been more into like clean, um, fresh, like fresher scents, not like clean linen, but like fresh lemon and fresh like herbs and like citronella. And what's the other one that I've been lighting lately that I really like? I'm blanking, but this one is always like a safe bet. And I like that it's very big. So it'll last a long time. And the coconut blend wax is better than what is it in like Bath and Body Works candles? That's is it paraffin wax? Whatever it is, coconut wax is a little bit more healthy, cleaner, cleaner burn. So this is a three, four wick, three wick, three wick candle. So love that. And it'll look nice sitting on our counter or on our coffee table and, uh, when we burn it. So love that. Okay, last on the list for today's purchases is this. <laughs> wicker little giant pot thing basket i don't know what you'd clarify this as but basically um i was on the lookout for a basket like this to put my faux olive tree in in here in the nursery um i haven't decided if it's gonna stay in here but i feel like i'll need to add a little bit of height um because like the crib's not super tall the day bed that we're gonna have is not super tall i just need you know to add a little bit of height in here the curtains do a great job of adding height um and then once we get like stuff on the walls it'll help but i feel like this and also just having like some like lifelike you know greenery in here will be good too i have a couple plants sitting in the window but i don't know that they'll stay there because one of them is a cactus and even though my child will not be moving or walking able to reach it anytime soon i just feel like having a cactus in a nursery is probably not the best idea you know um so got this guy and i will see how i like the olive tree in it if i don't like the olive tree in it might return it or might just put another plant in it because it's really cute also it has these little appliques on it and i thought they were bumblebees when i was there and now i'm realizing they're butterflies but either way super cute girly little option um you will see a theme with a lot of these elements from home goods is this wicker kind of coastal theme so i don't know if i had said this or not but we're going for a blue and white kind of like coast slightly coastal vibe for the nursery um like vintage floral blue and white florals um 
wicker elements to like warm it up a little bit so it's not all blue and white because my main concern is that I was just getting too much blue and white and there's not enough like contrast so the textures will come in really handy which you'll see in the next few items but okay now to talk about our previous home goods haul um like I said this is like a month or so back um and that really kick-started me like decorating the nursery um so yeah I'll just show you everything we got and explain as we go and then eventually you'll see it all come together eventually who knows when that'll be slowly but surely we're getting there but all right so the first item that really set the tone for this nursery was this wicker scalloped lampshade okay when I saw this initially we we're just doing blue and white I was like everything's gonna be blue and white or blue and white floral blue white whatever that was it then I saw this and I was like that would be so cute and it would add a lot of much needed texture and contrast to the space so we got this it was just a lampshade and then I did purchase a lamp which I'll show you guys eventually but um just a shade in fact I actually went back for this I didn't buy it initially because I thought I was like oh I could find like a cheaper one on Amazon it is hard to find a scalloped wicker lampshade that's not like or like 75 to 100 dollars and I was this was what 30 29.99 so so I went back for it um and I'm super glad that I did so love that next item that also kind of set the tone is this bed set so I have talked about this before maybe sound like a broken record but this room is currently our guest room and it will still be utilized as a guest room from time to time even after the baby's here um our house is only two bedrooms so we like hosting people we want to have the option still and really our only option is to also use this as a guest room which is it's totally fine like you know we're fine with it but right now i have a queen bed in here and i thought we'd be able to get away with it and now that we're starting to get baby stuff in here, I'm realizing it's, I don't like how much space it's taking up. So my plan is to, we are going to purchase a convertible day bed so it can be folded up as a twin bed, you know, and look like a normal day bed, or you can slide it out and it converts into a king bed. So we can still have guests stay in here. Um, we're not shoving them onto like a sofa bed or something. I mean, it's going to be like an actual bed. And that way, you know, that happens like a couple times a year. We still want to have the option to do it. We, I mean, John, all of Jonathan's family lives Texas, California, Nashville. I have family that lives in Minneapolis. I have friends that live in Minneapolis. I have friends in Florida. I have friends in Iowa. Like we have friends, I mean, we have like friends and family all over. So we want to be able to host them still. But again, it's only a few times a year that it happens. So I figured, you know, for the amount that we host, it let's just get like a temporary solution that can fold out, still be really comfortable, still look nice, but I don't need it to take up this entire room. So anyway, this is a king bed set that will go on the day bed. I'm hope I'm waiting for Amazon Prime Day, which is is it next week or the week after next week, um, to see to wait to purchase stuff for it. But got some bedding. So it is a blue and white floral on the top side and then gonna be kind of hard to see it has this um blue and white like seersucker stripe on the bottom side so I figured this would be super cute again kind of has like that coastal vibe a little bit um really really pretty perfect colors and this would be great again it'll work for this is a king size so I could use it on the queen bed right now but once we have that convertible bed we'll be able to like fold it up nice and then when we pull it out into a king bed this will work great it'll just be like a normal bed set so love that and then to go along with that we got a couple of these euro shams which i think technically it would have been better to get like four or three for a king bed but they only had these two so i was like you know what we'll work with what we got and that's what we got so really pretty powder blue color this is like again just like the perfect colors to blend everything together in the space and now i'm gonna throw this in the crib that's right next to me Okay, so that is it for the bedding, I think. Why did I think I got more pillows? Lord knows I don't need any more pillows. I just need to start getting covers for them. But anyway, okay, a couple items that I was absolutely shocked that I found at HomeGoods because I'd actually seen these on like TikTok or something. Somebody had shared that they found them at their HomeGoods, which anytime that happens, 
I just, I never get my hopes up because I'm like, you know what, the chances of our home goods here in South Dakota having the same thing that's like in a bigger city is pretty slim. But boy, was I lucky. We got these. How cute are these? So they're a scalloped wicker basket basically with a lid. So I'm going to use these as like toy storage, um, like toy boxes kind of, or just for like extra like books and stuff just to um, have as kind of like a decor piece. Like they'll be sitting out in her room against the wall, I think. Um, but just an option to hide stuff away that might look a little bit cluttered otherwise, or like that my dogs might get into because that has already happened one time. Um, guess who? Sadie Sue. Uh, we left her out one time when we went to a friend's house and she got into the closet and she slightly ripped open a little stuffed animal and then she didn't chew any, she didn't ruin anything. The, the chicken, she like chewed the bottom open, but it was like weighted. It had like rocks in the bottom. So like all the rocks spilled out, but like the chicken can be saved. But she had like pulled out like a, one shoe that we had been gifted. Um, a teether like then like all this like stuff like crinkly stuff with like the cellophane in it so anyway it's all fine but I was like okay that's it you are not being left out anymore um so we just want to have an option to keep stuff safe from Sadie Sue the other girls are fine but anyway so got a smaller one and then it also I also grabbed the slightly larger one so those will be super cute again just adding in those wicker elements to kind of add some texture last two items um kind of along those same lines of those last two pieces they are storage bins so cute are you sensing the theme <laughs> so these right now are just going to be in her closet as organizational pieces i have a bunch of her like older age clothes like i have some like 9 to 12, 12 to 18, or 12 to, what is it, 12 to 18 month that I was gifted from a friend um, as hand-me-downs. And so I have those in here because she's not going to wear them for oh, well over a year. So I figured I don't need to have them hanging in her closet. So I have those in here. This one's empty, I think. Yeah, this one's just empty. But um, could use it for extra diapers, wipes, toys, whatever. Um, but I just like that they're like prettier storage boxes versus just like clear totes. I'm sure I'll get to a point where I'm just like, I don't care, give me the clear totes. But I like that these are a little bit prettier because her closet is gonna be kind of an extension of the room because it's a huge closet and we need it to like store stuff in there. Um, so anyway, love these guys, super cute. And they just add a nice little, little design element to the closet. So, all right, that is the home goods hauls, plural. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys anything else in the nursery because it's a disaster right now. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's just a hodgepodge. It's more guest room than nursery right now. We're just putting like everything in the closet. Um, I should show you guys, I mean, that might be for the next vlog. Um, we, again, more footage that I lost from Sadie chewing up my vlog camera. Um, we unboxed our stroller and our baby swing and um, I need to show you guys that, but I think that's gonna be for another another day. Um, anyway, so that is the home goods haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away and just kind of chill for a little bit, honestly. That kind of made me tired. It is four o'clock or almost four o'clock. And we are in for the night, I think. I think I'm gonna start editing another vlog. I had another one go up today. I'm just on a roll, which is good. Um, I feel like my life was really boring for a while. <laughs> I mean, it's still not super exciting. I just work from home a lot, have weddings, things like that. But um, it's nice when I can get like little hauls and exciting little outings like the garden tour up. Um, that was today's vlog. Actually, since then, I've already had more flowers blooming, which is exciting. So anyway, once those get a little more mature, I'll have to show you guys because it's kind of fun as the garden, you know, gets growing. But all right, I will check in with you guys a little bit later when there's something to report. Okay, it is much later. I'm going to make some dinner. It's quarter after six. I just hung out on the couch, took a little, a little nap and I am making dinner now, just for the dogs. And I'm just gonna make some of this Kevin's Mongolian beef. Um, these are really great if you are 
like if you need to cook for yourself or meal prep and you want something that's super fast and easy i love kevin's meals we get them at costco so this comes with like two packs and one pack is like two pretty big servings so um i'll have leftovers obviously because it's just me because jonathan is at work so i'm just gonna make this and either I'll eat it with some of the Mexican rice that we have from last night's dinner, or I'll make a little bowl of steamed white, white rice. I feel like that would go better, the steamed white rice. So I'm gonna cook this up and we'll make some dinner. And then I really, I'm like working up the energy. I really need to like shave, exfoliate, and I would like to self tan tonight. And Luna, Luna Grace. And Jonathan doesn't get off work for another like four hours. And the tan I have is like considered an like a express tan. So I think they say leave it on for three hours. Although I liked it better when I left it on overnight, but we just washed our sheets a couple days ago. So I don't know if I want to leave it on overnight and get like our sheets all dirty. I don't know. Not that it's that big of a deal. I mean, we wash them pretty much every week anyway, but I'm trying to decide because he has tomorrow off and I just wanted to kind of like go around town. Maybe I will just sleep in it. I don't know. Um, cause then it would turn out way better, but I need to like scrub my ankles because there's remnants of my last tanner that have not come off. Like it is on there real good. So we'll see if I get around to that. I mean, I have nothing better to do tonight. So We'll see what we get up to, but first, dinner time. Okay, dinner is cooking up. So this is the Kevin's Mongolian beef. And then I added, this is gonna sound so weird. I had a can of Southern canned cabbage. For some reason I bought it like months ago. Pregnancy craving maybe, I don't know, it sounded good. I've never had canned cabbage. And I added it in there because I'm like, I don't know how else to use this. And it's kind of making it like a, you know, like what you'd get at a Chinese restaurant. Added a little bit of fiber, some veggies in there, and I just prepared a sticky bowl, sticky rice bowl, and I'm just gonna top with that. So I'm gonna do this, and then I think I am gonna go shower, exfoliate, self tan, because I know tomorrow me will be so glad I did. And like I said, I have nothing better to do. So we'll put on a podcast and hang out. Is it raining? Okay, random it just started randomly raining <laughs> um but i will check in with you guys hopefully i'll remember before the end of the night um i'm gonna look crazy with this tanner on but i'll check in and should i close out the vlog then i don't know we'll see but i'll check in later okay i told you guys <laughs> i would look crazy next time i checked in but the self tan is on we are marinating it's eight o'clock so i think i'm gonna have to sleep in this because like three hours is not quite long enough, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be worth it if I only leave it on for three hours. So I think I'm just gonna sleep in it unless we end up staying up really late, which we have been staying up to like midnight, in which case, I don't know. We'll see if I end up rinsing it off. I, you guys, I hate sleeping in self tanner because I feel like I just am sweaty and like gross and I already don't sleep well <laughs> being pregnant. So um, I, I don't know we'll see but I also don't want it to be like a complete lost cause if I rinse it off too early so we'll see but it's eight o'clock like I said I'm just gonna sit down and watch some true crime YouTube documentaries um, I'm currently watching true crime with Kendall Ray she's one of my favorites um, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here um, I think I had a couple days worth of stuff some a good little home goods haul for you and then I will check in. I'm going to try to vlog tomorrow, hoping we can get out of the house and do some fun stuff, bop around town a little bit, maybe um, go to lunch or br breakfast or brunch or something. And so I will see you guys very soon. I feel like I never end up wrapping up the vlogs. So don't forget to subscribe. I would be so happy to have you guys hang out. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Audrey Elise. Same with TikTok. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in another vlog very soon. Bye guys.